Hi, this is um, this is a video which is going to show you how to change the back of a, a Sony Xperia Z1. Although the process will be the same for most of the um, like the Z1 Compact and and, and so on. Um, basically, I don't know if you can see. I'll try and hold it into the different lights, but it's it's really badly scratched. This one. Let's give it a quick clean. Um, it is glass, but it's really prone to scratching the Z1 back cover. Um, I said, I don't know if you can pick that out. But um, and I, I, this is I'm going to be selling this shortly, so that's the the reason for me changing the back. Also, I'm going to be changing the front in the future. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. But if you can see, bear with me while I just give it a quick quick wash. But there's a big chunk out of the screen there. Only happened the other day, I dropped it off a bedside table and it just caught the edge of my laptop and yeah, a chunk came out of the glass. But uh, yeah, so the, the front is, as you'd expect I suppose, more, a lot more resilient than the back. There's, hot, there's, there's some like really tiny hair-like scratches as you'd expect from, you know, this is like eight months old, nine months old. Um, but the back is really quite bad. So anyway, I'm going to change it. The one that I've bought off off eBay is this one <laughs> it's um, it's a replacement back glass all the all the markings are the same Sony Xperia the little markings for the camera everything's the same except it doesn't there's the little um, symbol for the NFC chip and this replacement doesn't have an NFC on it so we're also going to be exchanging the NFC from the original back and implanting it onto the onto this one so it still works. Okay, so um, let's get on with it, I suppose. A little bit more central. Okay, so first of all, we're going to use hot air to. I mean, we can see from the replacement one that. Let's just peel back that cover a little bit there. We can see that the the glue follows just around the edge. There's nothing really in the middle at all. So we're just going to need to concentrate. With a bit of hot air on the edge there so let's fire up the the hot air machine okay so the temperature i've got this set to well it says 132 so and yeah it's pretty pretty damn hot and um, it'll go a lot higher, higher than that but there's no really no need we're only really just melting the adhesive a little bit around the edge okay this will take a minute so I will more than likely crop the video but I'll just be doing this for a minute a minute and a half maybe just turn that off. okay so use a little pry pry tool um, you can see on the at the top there if I can turn it to the light, you've got a little recess. There's one on the front as well, which probably also doubles as a um, microphone or something like that. But if you can just get your tool underneath there, I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of these little, like a plectrum type of device, because they're just a little bit harder. Okay, so be, take your time with it. Just hear it just pop off there a little bit there. I'm just gently taking your time, work around the outside. Gone all the way around the edge now. So really, we just need to don't put too much pressure on. I mean, if you're doing this, you, you may well have actually smashed it. So you know, you might have to take it off in more than one piece. But in my case, it's just scratched. So just gently get, take let it do all the work, and there we go. It's popped off. Okay. So. 
as you can see, the one that I bought off eBay is there, and that's the NFC chip for, that we need to take off of this one and put onto the new one. Okay, so in order to get the, the NFC chip off of the old um, rear, we're going to go back to the hot air and just warm up the adhesive so it makes it a little bit easier to get off. Again, we don't need to spend too much time doing this. So only just to give it a little bit of heat just to enable it to be peeled off a little bit easier. Okay. Okay, so just need to get underneath the edge. Gently work our way forward. Very careful because it's very thin. Contacts are also wafer, wafer thin. And obviously, if you go through any of them, it's not going to work. So just take your time. There you go, nearly there. There we go. And that's that. So there's, there's the chip. Just check it on the rear, make sure all the wires and all the connectors. Okay, it's actually pretty solid to be fair, but you do need to be careful with it, it's not too, um, you know, it is very thin. Okay, so we need to transplant that onto the rear of the new one. But what I'm going to do is because, pick it up, because, it, because it's not completely clear where it's got to go, Like, you know, if it was right up to the edge, or down, it's just not 100% clear. So I'm going to do it the other way around, by which if we get these two connecting contacts to marry up with the two pins, then we know we're okay. So I'm going to do it that way around. Okay, so that's where it needs to be. And we'll take our new cover. And you can feel when it's in the right place because there's a bit of a lip that runs around. So you can feel that it's there. And just drop that on. Okay, lovely. I press it all the way around just to make sure it's on. And what I'm going to do is, just for a belt and braces type of approach, I'm just going to give that a little bit of hot air. Just warm up again, just to make the glue a little bit pliable and ensure a good seal. I'm not going to peel it off just yet because like I said, I'm selling it in a few days and I don't want to scratch my new, the new back before I've had a chance to sell it. So thank you very much. There we go. Okay, as promised, we'll do a, an NFC chip test. Um, as I said before, I've got the NFC logo there. So I've got this Sony QX10 um, camera that goes with this phone and any other Android phone actually. Um, but yeah, it connects via NFC as you can see there. So, if I touch the two together, there you go, device has been recognised and is connecting. And 
from then on it's connecting via Wi-Fi so I mean that's that is what it is really um, but yeah just to prove that it works and that's the, there's the camera okay cool see you later thanks very much